Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Real Life Riddells. Uh, I am standing in the playroom, which we are in the middle of doing some cool little uh, design and decorating things to. Uh, still not completely finished with the room. Uh, we are 98% done with all of our projects. I uh, can't wait to reveal some of those things. Um, got a lot of organizational tips, got a lot of house um, command center kind of ideas that Janet has been working on as far as schedule and calendars and to-do lists and mail bills, those kind of things. Uh, and then as far as this room, we've got a lot of really cool theme elements as you can see with the brick behind me. And we'll show you what it looked like before and we'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. You can see uh, I haven't finished trimming all of this out. But real quick, uh, today we wanted to kind of give you a flashback. Um, we've mentioned a lot about ADHD, uh, how we are all ADHD. Um, when I first graduated high school, I kind of pushed back and rebelled. Uh, I felt like maybe my parents were using medicine to control me. Uh, that if I talk too loud or laugh too long uh, at jokes or at comments that uh, they would often ask, you know, have you taken your pills? And so I, I resented that a little bit and pushed back against it. And that was immaturity on my part. Uh, I was suspended uh, from college and so became a college dropout effectively. And so what we're going to do today is show you uh, my actual commencement speech. And it'll tell a lot of the story about how I got where I was. So without further ado, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you uh, Excellence Defined, my uh, 2005 University of Houston commencement speech. Mr. Bryce Eisenhower, who is today a candidate for a Bachelor of Arts in Communications and Media Production. Excellence has nothing to do with who you know, what you do, or how you do this. 
It's not only judged by your looks, popularity, or even by your success or lack of it. Excellent simply being able to look yourself in the mirror, eye to eye, and truly be satisfied. With that discovery, I made a decision to turn my life around. I wish I could say it was quick and it was easy. The truth is, I still made it and made it my share of mistakes, but I never gave up. I went on to sell all my pledges to find my life and gather my things. And to this day, I'm still trying to make some of the broken relationships. All along, God has given me strength, He's given me grace, He's given me a great suggestion to have a He introduced me to his best friend of the night, the greatest supporter of the human life and social, my soulmate and the ones who love, my wife, Amy. Go back to home. That's what the university is used to back in the past. I remember sitting down in my office when he came to the university's office. My heart was pounding, my forehead was sweating, my hands were shaking, and nervous at the beginning of my transcripts and my admissions applications. After looking over my dismal records and raising my eyebrows more than just a few times, Mr. Kinchinchin has decided that I was his words. For that, I am much of a For these last few years, I like to teach you. Worked on my own Took the tests, did the projects, sort of the long hours of obligatory or study sessions. And today, it all finds out it's possible. Today, we become college graduates. Today, we're not in the face of no longer a stranger. Happy to be here. I already mentioned how incredible my life is, but I want to take a moment to thank my parents. I want to thank them for raising me the way they did. I know it wasn't easy, but I'm glad they made it hard choices you made all those years ago. Mom, Dad, you did very well. One final thought to the As a lesson process, we want to see social spaces. Each one unique, each one with limited possibility, and every one of them overcomes. I feel quite sure that if you listen to the story, many of you might have asked about nothing. And right now, so, each one of you can stand here and tell your own stories of trying to make a of overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles, of seeing things who are never given up. And that's exactly what makes you do excellent. You see, our future is right now because we dream of pieces, but because we will it. Our future is not some vague use of tomorrow, but it's rooted in lessons of past and choices of today. There are no guarantees that we should be brain -made. In fact, many of you are still trying to adjust this present in this But this one thing we do here, we've learned from our mistakes. We've risen above our challenges. And no matter what obstacles we lay ahead, we will come up. Because we, the 2005 graduating class at the University of Houston, we are excellent at the bottom line. May God bless us, basically, for coming in. Confident, satisfied, Congratulations, guys. Good luck for the world.